Hi, I'm Alemi from EO Botanica. Welcome back. Today's video is going to be about spiritual washes, like those kinds of baths and washes and things like that that you find in the Botanica. So we're going to talk about that. And don't forget to like, subscribe, thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications. So let's get started. So today we're going to talk a little bit about different kinds of spiritual washes. And so the first thing that I want to say about spiritual washes is they come in a myriad of different sections, right? There's a section for opening your road, spiritual guides, uh, money, luck, uh, different kinds of breaking, victory, dot, 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 dot. Botanicas have a myriad or a very good variety of all of these different things, or at least a lot of botanicas do. And so I notice online now on YouTube, there's a lot of, oh, I did a botanica haul, or some of our customers, some of you guys would be posting things that you either receive in, in mail or in person when you go to buy them in the store. So we really appreciate you guys putting that out and definitely sharing it, tagging us. But today I'm gonna to specifically talk about on jinxing, on crossing, breaking types of spiritual baths. And so for the sake of learning, today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about also why is it called a bath? I personally use the word wash. Why? Because you can use this not only to bathe with, to mop your floors with, to put in a body splash. So you can use it, make a spray, spray your home, spray yourself, spray your car, spray your office, right? In the office, don't make it too strong because your coworkers, when they smell that Florida water <laughs> or they smell anything, they're going to go, what's that? So don't make it too strong. This, for us, for me, I make this like a sprinkle. So you can sprinkle it around in your home. Instead of spraying, you can sprinkle. You can use this outside of your home. You can add spiritual washes or spiritual baths to water, um, colognes, things like that also. So. I'm going to be showing you these and talking a little bit about these, but I want you to keep in mind it can be used in different forms, right? So this section, these, these four, this one is called Anamu. And Anamu is this herb. It's horrible smell. Well, I think it is. This is to specifically remove dark spirits or dark energy in general in a space. This one is called Espanta Muerto, uh, to dispel evil. All of the ones that I'm going through right now, they actually have a root, a tree, something growing to represent them. But spiritual washes, are kind of like a, a recipe put together to make liquids. And I love this company. They have just great ones. So then we've got here one that says, go away evil. This is one, all of these washes can be used also as floor washes. I'm gonna to get to the ones that I don't think that people, um, I'll just mention one or two of the ones that people really shouldn't use on themselves, but all of these you can do. So we've got Anamu, which is just an herb specifically for dispelling. You can take it orally or you can take it as a spiritual wash. You can use it in your environment. All of the ones I'm talking about today you can use in your environment, on yourself. Not all of them are good for children. And so I would definitely ask whoever's giving you guidance or when you come into the store, can it be used on a child? Because sometimes children need that. Uh, we have here, quita maldición. Quita maldición, go away evil. Another form of that. Spanish speakers, you guys know how to say it even better than me. But that also comes from a tree. All of these can be mixed together. 
And that's another thing that I really, really enjoy and like about spiritual baths. You can add them with herbs. You can add colognes, just water, um, my goodness, powders, all kinds of ways to use them. And I really love the versatility of them. In addition to the fact that they're not expensive. So you can really use quite a few different things in order to try different remedies and it's not too costly. So this one is on crossing. This is the floor wash. This is the spiritual wash. One of the reasons why they're called taking a spiritual bath, you know, I love when people come in and they go, oh no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that one. And I go, well, is there a reason why? And they're like, oh, well, I don't have a bathtub and I don't like taking baths. This term is a very old term. I'm a bit old school, even though I'm, I have a great modern approach, but I'm very old school in a lot of ways. So the word wash I use could be potion, something of that sort, but bath, back in the day, people didn't have showers. <laughs> they had baths, they had a bucket, and they would ladle it on. And so similarly so, when it's time for you to take a spiritual bath, just ladle it on yourself, even if you don't have a bathtub. And even if you do and you don't want to take a bath, do the same thing. So over here, we have the section for protection and chain breaker. So what's a chain breaker, right? A person feels like something is just pulling them back. They may be going forward, but they feel something kind of pulling them back, right? So I personally like to mix things together and I definitely like to mix things together that are different colors, hint, hint. So we've got here on crossing and we have here chain breaker. I would mix these two together, take a spiritual bath with it because then now you're getting different vibrations together, more, more to push forward on your um, request. So this one is says protection. This one is chain breaker. This stick is specifically spell breaker. So this is really the tree or where this idea comes from. And here is kind of the synthetic or the man-made version of it, right? So protection again can be used with, with uncrossing, with go away evil, and with evil eye and almost with almost anything else, right? So this side we have here, evil eye. Mm. <laughs> here is evil eye amulet um, that comes in a keychain. We have it in all different forms. We've got it in keychains, necklaces, all of that stuff. So this is a spiritual bath that can be taken or wash that can be taken to dispel that, to take off to the evil eye, because that also has negative vibrations to a person. This is a floor wash against envy, right? So envy, evil eye kind of fall in the same category, right? So again, if you can't find one, here's another. I've given you guys like a little selection of them. So when you come to visit us in the Botanica or you order from us online, you have some ideas around protection, breaking, so that you can start to have more luck, more prosperity, more open roads. So, hope that was helpful. Great seeing you guys. Remember, give me a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell, and see you next time. Ashe, ashe, ashe. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, definitely like us, give us a thumbs up, share us with others, send us your comments, come visit us in the store, and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. See you next time.